Good morning my friends welcome to my channel prodbug and we are continuing our APM series with APM 2.0 the latest one and Java client 8.x and x okay whatever the uh, uh, Java client you have installed okay I have installed the latest one 8.5 okay so let's uh, quickly go to the code and see what we have learned uh, last time let me open the Eclipse okay so last time we have uh, I have just uh, shown you a small demo uh, a small code and we have seen our how the capabilities uh, we have set let me show you once again quickly uh, okay here is the capabilities so this is the method we have where we have set the capability make sure you are using UI automated to option not the desired capability okay which we are using earlier in, in, in the old APM okay the latest one are using API UI automated to okay so we have set here Android 8.1 UI automated to uh, device name and your package and activity these two things okay and I used to uh, set this false because uh, I want that every time uh, our my APK latest APK get installed in the device and the latest APK get used uh, you can put it true as well no problem as such okay here we have defined the APK path and our capabilities are ready okay to use uh, how we are using simple this is the old one only like driver is equal to new Android driver you pass on the uh, URL without uh, WD and H uh, hub okay and just pass here the uh, UI automated to uh, capabilities what we have used and the driver will be initialized and your APM should be up and running like you can simply open the git bash and simply write the APM and hit enter APM to server will be started in the background okay what else okay let's go to the next step what we are doing here is uh, I'm just showing few X path okay some X path uh, previously we have seen uh, a demo uh, uh, code now uh, I will go through the X path ID class name all these things okay in this particular chapter uh, so let me open uh, uh, where is that wait okay here is the APM inspector and uh, these are the capabilities okay so just make uh, note don't make any mistakes especially here write down APM colon everywhere you can see here okay and put everything whatever you have added in the code exactly here this is the JSON representation you don't just match all this thing don't make any mistakes and click on the start session okay and here is our emulator we in this particular series we are going to automate these three uh, APKs okay one two three so this is the APK which uh, I'm showing you right now after that we'll aut going to automate this one uh, which is from the source lab and after that we'll automate the third APK which is from web driver IO website okay so we'll go step by step slowly slowly don't make uh, okay so just don't take tension even if uh, you're new to the APM uh, will cover uh, from the beginner level and even if you have used the old uh, old APM it's good for you because now in this particular series we are only covering the latest one okay we are not going to see the old code okay because everyone we have to migrate to the latest one now okay uh, so let me open this okay so the screen is appearing here uh, let's try to automate few uh, steps using the X path okay so the first one we are going to click on the content okay so how to find the X path of the content see here one X path is given and here is index as well okay so you can use X path this the given by the APM or you can create your own X path what I have done I have created uh, like let me show my own X path what I am doing this is the node this is the exactly same node but rather than giving the content description which is content this one I am giving index is equal to 3 it's up to me okay it's up to you you can give any kind of xpath which su suits you okay I'm showing you all the examples of xpath okay like I am using this one you can use this one as well okay there are different different flavors of xpath you can use any one of them okay so here I am using index is equal to 3 and I am clicking uh, here okay so we'll click on this uh, content okay uh, what else we are doing uh, here I just for the demo purpose I try to find the size of the list so where is the list I just try to find the complete list okay this uh, one okay uh, okay so before click uh, it should not be here let me remove this okay so this is the list so uh, this is again the note 
slash android widget text view and resource id is this one okay so this is another flavor of xpath so let me click here okay so click uh, click will not work here okay if, because we have selected select element if you really want to click here uh, you have an option you can click on the tap and click here so the next screen will come and now again click here okay so it has not been clicked right again click here yeah so okay so it look like some double tap happened or something happened let me check in the real device emulator okay this also change yeah so it should be here see uh, if you click on the content this screen should come okay so let me refresh it yeah the screen will come right okay so what we are doing now we are uh, finding a x path with this resource id having android colon id text one okay where it is let me show uh, so here is uh, you can see all the list element is having exactly the same resource id you can see here see resource id text one text one text one text one text one so all these element is having the exactly the same resource id yeah so if you, you use this kind of xpath like node this is the node text view text view is the node android widget text view is the node resource id resource id here is this one android id text one if you use and uh, use the selenium method dot size it will give one integer the size of the list okay and it just i'm printing it okay just for the demo okay what else what we are doing now now we are clicking on the asset okay let's try to find the xpath so just if i want to check the xpath of this so don't use the tap because if you click on use the tap it will move to the next screen we don't want to do that okay so i need to know the xpath of asset so click here click on the asset and here it comes okay asset okay here so this is one xpath uh, but I have used a different one okay because I, I intentionally I am using all different kind of xpath because I need to show you what all the flavors you can use you can use a simple one this is the simplest oh, and I recommend you use this one also but you should know in the previous we have used index now I am using text okay how uh, slash this is the node bracket at the rate text is equal to asset this is one of the very very good xpath right based on the text 100% it will work all the time so this asset i am using here so this is another xpath which we are using so we have used this one now we are using this one okay so again click on the asset now let's go click on the tap okay so we'll not click the use the tap this time what we'll do open the emulator and click manually asset and refresh the screen okay this is what i like okay you can use the tap as well no problem with that okay so we click on the asset now okay we are reading uh, something asset we click on the asset now again okay so read okay so this this particular okay let's try to find the xpath first of all okay ah nice this is another xpath using the contains so what i have uh, i want to show you that you can use this xpath as well see we have a lot of xpath we can use simply copy paste but again i am trying to show you something else so look here the text text is showing as read asset so rather than using the complete text what i am using contains is only read so anything text which contains read so yes this particular whole string contains a read right so this will qualify this will be absolutely correct xpath and see i am i am not using node here simply i put a star so whatever the node we don't care okay just we are looking for anything anything which any any text which contains a read okay so this will work because there is there are no other nodes but be careful with these kind of xpath okay I, I know that you have already covered all this thing in selenium so let's not focus too much here and so we click on the this particular node so we click on read asset okay L let's go to the this time i am using tap and one click this okay so this through this way also you can uh, do it and see the emulator also changed have you noticed i have not clicked on the emulator but i clicked the uh, this apm inspector i use a tap and automatically emulator is also following us okay so they are connected 
good okay so now i need to read this complete text okay so let's see what we have used here okay now this time i am using id so for driver dot find element by id and i if you remember i told you the rules to find the id uh, okay here is the id so io appm android apis colon id slash text so colon id slash text here resource id yeah so we have to use this resource id and this id is exactly same uh, but most of the time we don't find this id so we have to read this one resource id okay so this this uh, x path you can use this id you can use and you just need to get text okay and uh, that's it simply you find this particular uh, locators and you can get the text and if you have noticed that uh, there are a lot of things okay so don't get confused see here id is given this here resource id is given this but if you can observe here is one more id io appm android api dot and this are exactly different yeah mainly the starting part at least the starting part right and even this api see this is not at all matching with this one can you see this is slash text this is slash text one this is slash text one and this is pure simply text one there is no one here right so these ids are completely different so you can use this one you can use this one or you can use this one as well okay so don't always look for the locators only in this screen you can check this screen as well okay so this is there is a catch okay so just be careful anything can work okay so just try to use so i intentionally used all these things so that you should be aware that these things are also working no need to always select the locators from here okay so these are the small small things you may not have noticed but uh, it's very careful and please remember all this thing okay because it's really easy to forget all this thing later on okay so we find that particular uh, locator and we just grab the text get text okay and we are simply printing out and then we click the back button three times so basically this particular button we are clicking three times so we will again reach to the uh, what home page and what I'm doing again here is again okay dot size okay let's let's go here let's see what we are doing here where is uh, okay here one two three okay so this is the home page yeah okay so resource id text one or text is media okay so can you guess okay i have already written the output but okay fine so see what happens so so basically uh, this uh, x path is a bit uh, wrong i will show you uh, why and uh, we should not have written this kind of x path and okay let me refresh it okay so let's check this x path what ideally they should return copy this x path go here select x path here paste here and just search okay 11 11 is coming yes exactly 11 is coming now can you tell me why okay so i just want to show you two things here or and okay if you have noticed here i have written here or and so this is another good thing or so what do you mean by or you you simply know that or if this is matching or this is matching so any one of the matching okay so if this is matching i don't think so uh, apm will going to check this because if if they have checked it so media is only one so ideal the output should be one but 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 here is or okay so it will only check this particular x path and based on this i have already explained you uh, somewhere here we have used the same x path somewhere here okay so it, it is like text one all the elements are text one for us right that's why it is 11 you can see all these elements is having text one android id text one android ID text one android ID text one so all the 11 element is having the exactly the same resource id and what the x path is saying anything any node which is having resource id as android id text one so it will match here and it will give output 11 and it will not going to check this why because here we have written or okay that's why the output is 11 but if we just replace or with and okay so just replace this or uh -huh. just replace this 
or and write down here and that's it now see search only one why because because uh, I hope you already know the answer because this is this will give 11 and this will give only one because we have you know that media is only one this media is only one okay there are no other media so 11 and 1 so output will be 1 because here is and I hope no need to explain too much on this I hope you understand and uh, that's it and here we are clicking on the media okay if, if the output is 11 we can't use the click right because it's a list but now it will not give a list it will give only one element and we can click on the media and we will click on the media and again we'll click the back so it will again reach on the home page okay let me execute this particular uh, uh, case and we'll see how it works okay all our xpath are working or not working so let's run as a java application and let me here and here is our appm is running okay somewhere here see we click on the content asset read asset then back 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 now media and then again back okay so this is absolutely working and see uh, the output is list of element uh, you remember list of element what we have done we find after clicking on the content we check the list of the elements so one two three four five six so this is this output is absolutely correct uh, then 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 what we have we click on the asset read asset and this text is stored in raw asset so this text is stored in raw asset this we are able to successfully read and the second line as well it was read and placed so it was read and placed so both these lines has been successfully read then we clicked on the back three times we fetch the count of these element and there are 11 and after that we click on the media and then we come back okay so like this is we have seen how to work with the xpath right in the next particular session we will check with the class okay so i hope different xpath which we have used uh, is clear very much clear to you guys okay so we have used uh, at the rate text uh, we have used contains uh, we have used the x uh, id from the different window right and we have used the index and this is the normal xpath we have used from what given by the apm uh, uh, right so i hope this particular xpath uh, chapter is very much clear to you and in the next we will see the class name and few more accessibility id and all this thing so i hope uh, you are enjoying and you are learning something uh, which might you have some doubts and just let me know in the comment section if you have some more doubts related to the xpath and see you in the next chapter till then have a good day keep smiling